Uh, hi everyone. Today we will see how to uh, analyze a dump, a bad dump. Uh, what we will do is I will go through now transaction M twenty fifty one N, and I will select a purchase requisition number, and this has resulted me into a dump. Uh, wherein it is clear cut written that the ABAP program which has given a dump is SAP L X M 0 uh, and this dump has been generated and so on. So now if I would first want to go and see the dump, what I will be doing is I use the transaction ST22 and I have an option of today or yesterday, like there are today there have been 15 dumps which has been generated in this system. Yesterday there were 64 dumps and you have an option, you have your own selection criteria like the date, the user ID and so on. You can choose that. So I'll select today's uh, this thing and this is the latest dump which I got for my user ID. So it is highlighted in red. Now let us double click on it. Now, let us understand the various folders uh, and things which are available in this term. So first of all, the system environment. So it will tell you like what is the system release and what is the server on which this term has occurred, user and transaction. So this is the user name, the client on which the dump has occurred and what is the transaction in which the dump took place and the program name. Uh, it is SAP L M E R R E Q uh, is a main program where the dump popper. What is the screen number uh, over here? Now, what has happened in user queue? So, what it is saying is that the program, uh, this SAP L whatever, has been terminated because there is an error which has been found in the include uh, uh, ZX02 uh, top in line 5. So what we can do is we will copy this program name. I'll do control Y and copy this program name and let us go to SC38 and copy paste this program name over here and click on display. So it is if you see over here line number five is this line number and if I double click on this, what it is saying is this, this field does not exist in the IBAN table. So that is why the dump is has occurred. Now, if I click on this check button, it will give me an error. No component exists with name ref num. And similarly, if I click on IBAN table also, and search for ref underscore num, it will say this now this field doesn't exist. So let us go back to this dump to understand furthermore what can be done. So the correct error in the dump, it is saying it is a syntax error, etc., and how it can be dealt. Now a web developer view short text. Now what where the program uh, uh, which program has the prop, uh, error? Error analysis will tell you uh, no component exists. So whatever we did by doing control F2 or check the no component exists over here. So this is the problem. So the error analysis also gives you the same thing. Now how to correct the error? Uh, if we uh, give you steps how to correct the error or else if you are not able to find it then download it and do some further identification information on where terminated so where which particular main program has terminated etc that information it will give you now the source code extract if you see over here this is the source code extract of the main program which has called this uh, uh, program and got an error. Now you see these arrows which are over here, which means when this customer function was called, this error has been generated. So what I will do is, this is line number 1817. What I will do is, I will end this refresh met method. 
I will put a break point over here. Now it is a simple upfront uh, error in this case. But in case of complicated ones, what you need to do is on that particular line number, you have to put a break point. And this refresh method, whatever you see over here, you can also see the contents of the system field. So when you see system field, it is the SI SYST structure. What are the values which are there in the system fields? That also can be analyzed and chosen variables wherever now the function method refresh is used and these are the chosen variable values like there was an IM header uh, class which was called and there are few other variables which were in initialized so those uh, values are over here active calls and events so this is the call stack which called the method. So it started from this particular report and it drilled down to this level and in the 17th uh, call uh, uh, the stack uh, this error has occurred. There are few local shared objects and list of ABAP programs which are impacted. Now as we discussed earlier I have already put a breakpoint at this line number if you see over here this line number if i click on it i have put a breakpoint over here in this method refresh now what we will do is we will again go to the transaction me51n and i will choose the purchase requisition number over here now what will happen is just before the dump occurs uh, this execution, this is what we saw in the trace, uh, in your ABAP trace, that the error has occurred at this when it tried to execute this method, method or function module. So what we can do is, uh, if it is a complicated one and if it is coming from a SAP standard code, what uh, in the debugger, it shows the standard screen uh, tab by default. If you see this is the call stack, what you can do is you can check in desktop too and you can also see the previous methods, what values are being passed, what is the, uh, you know, if there is something, some uh, wrong value which is being passed or uh, which uh, value it is, uh, uh, you know, for which instance this particular method is being called and what value is being passed and it is causing the error. All these things also can be checked. So you basically from here you can browse the previous stack. So if you see this transaction is there and, uh, you know, these methods are being called and this is the last stack, uh, call in the stack where this error is open so if i click on f5 this error will occur now what we will do is we'll come back and uh, as we discussed right sc38 in this include this statement was giving error so i will that one is unknown everywhere it is expecting the ref norm wherever it is used so what we can do is i will just put it char 20 okay so it's even more deeper everywhere this ref norm is being accessed so if you see over here this ls item here as well the ref num is being accessed i also don't know what it is so basically there is some class method where also they have written some code to access the ref num so what we can do is it's a quality code i will just now i'll just comment this code out because we don't want these errors and i'll activate it 
So I will activate both this. Let me see edit. So there is some other place also as well where this is being used. We'll comment out this else also. And we'll try to activate it. Edit. It's unknown. Clear. Here also it is being clear. I will as of now comment it because it is not needed. And I will activate all the includes which were touched as of now. So it, it has come because of some faulty code which was written in the user exit. And now what we will do is because everything is activated, I will again do slash n ME51N. And I'll try to access the purchase requisition. Now the breakpoint was set at this place. Now if I do F5, it gets executed successfully because I have commented the entire code. So this is the purchase requisition header. This is the item overview. And this is the item detail. So this is how we have got rid of the uh, dump. And if you see, no longer we are getting that error. So that's it from my side today. Thank you.